What's up guys, in this video, we're going to be cold emailing prospects live using instantly.ai. I'm going to be walking you all through the entire process of writing a winning email, setting up my campaign and launching it so it gets sent to hundreds of potential prospects. By the time you're watching this video, I should have already gotten a bunch of replies back. And if you like this video right now, in the next one, we can go over the replies and how to follow up with these leads. But for now, let's hop right into my computer so we can get started. Okay, so we'll be setting up a campaign here. Uh, I'm gonna be selling lead generation, demand generation, booking meetings for either marketing agencies, B2B SaaS, or companies with sales teams or high ticket coaches, right? We're gonna be selling them, hey, we can get you more meetings. But obviously if you're another type of agency, let's say you're a branding agency, you're a TikTok agency, you're an SEO agency, all of this still works very well in a b2b context right if you just need high ticket b2b clients the same process applies obviously the copy is going to be a little bit different the targeting the type of leads that you get is going to be different but overall the process the, the thesis behind it is exactly uh, the same so let's get started here the first thing that we'll do is we'll get some leads right so what i'm going to do is i'm a lead gen agency i'm going to reach out to marketing agencies or more specifically decision makers in marketing agencies. And I'm going to tell them, Hey, do you want more meetings? And I'm going to show you exactly how that looks like. So, uh, let's jump into it. The first thing, obviously, like I said, uh, I'll focus on marketing agencies here. Um, we need a, we need a data source, right? We need email addresses of decision makers at marketing agencies. So where do I get these from? There's a couple of different sources that you can get them from. Uh, one is called lead hype. There's a couple others uh, like Apollo. You might've heard. Um, there's also find email, which is a good one. Uh, today, I'm just going to show you how to do it in a uh, lead hype, uh, how to get the leads and the data in lead hype, because uh, it's super simple. It's also uh, quite inexpensive and uh, it's a good start. If you're just starting out, lead hype is a good tool. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's inexpensive and you can also scrape Sales Navigator. So Sales Na Navigator, right, is the database of LinkedIn. And here you'll find everyone in your target market. And what they will do, you apply these filters. It will uh, find everybody in this target market and then it will scrape the email addresses, right? And the email addresses later on, we're gonna need for our prospecting campaigns. So let's do that here. Um, have is have it open here just go to lead hype you know go to the sales navigator section and uh, remember what i said when we're going to be targeting marketing agencies so let's look for some marketing agencies here um first of all uh, let's see we have industry I'm just going to type in marketing we can say marketing services then okay what kind of job title do these people have, right? We want to reach out to the decision make makers, preferably, uh, let's say I'll do uh, just CEOs. Um, you can potentially also do like founder if you're reaching out to smaller uh, companies, seniority level, let's see what kind of filters uh, can I apply geography. Let's say we're reaching out to people in the United States. Uh, only for this one, but you know, the good thing with cold emailing is you can go global. You can also target U United Kingdom, um, uh, any other English speaking countries and even non English speaking countries, right? We've run campaigns before or just emailed people in Scandinavia and Germany and like Western Europe, um, uh, with, with English cold emails. And that worked also really well. Uh, but just for the sake of this, uh, live campaign here, I'm going to be targeting United States. So the United States marketing services. Let's see, I also want to filter a little bit here by employee headcount, uh, company headcount. So probably for this uh, campaign, I'm just going to be talking a little bit smaller companies. Let's say one to 50 employees. Here we have one to 15 employees in the US, marketing services, chief executive officer, founder. And yeah, that looks already pretty good. So. Let me copy that URL. Let me refresh this page actually, because it should show some results here. Okay. And then once we copy the URL, we're going to move on to the dashboard. 
and then we're just going to put it here sales navigator and then i'm going to say marketing us one to 50 employees uh ceo or you know decision makers i'm going to type that in here and i'm going to let it start scraping okay so this will take a little bit so let me just pause the video here and then after a while we'll see it show up and it will give us all the email addresses all right so this is one is still pending right it's scraping here but i uh, already put in a search yesterday so i'm just going to download that just so i can show you you know i can get this video to you sooner and we don't have to wait around until it's scraped uh, but so this one i scraped yesterday i'm just gonna download here right it, it scraped all the marketing decision makers in the uk with one to 50 employees i'm going to download that here boom and then uh, what i'm going to do is open a spreadsheet in google sheets i like to do it in google sheets so just here and then i'm going to import this data that i scraped from lead hype just drop it here I'm going to replace current sheet import and also like to, you know, grab the name here and put it into the name. And then, you know, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Middle name. There's a bunch of stuff that we don't need here. Company name. We might need company domain. We don't need city. Just gonna delete all of this so we have it nice and tidy. Then I'm gonna fill, put some filters on it. Apply filter. Let me move this around. And then I just wanna, I don't want to have the blanks. Uh, right, we don't only want cells that have a value, so. I'm just going to put this in here, delete the rest, delete this. Okay, good. Okay. And now we have our lead list. So our lead list is here, right? From the previous targeting that we decided, right? We decided we're going to do, we're going to offer lead generation to marketing agencies. We went to, we went to lead hype. And to sales navigator we, we put in some filters you know depending on who we're targeting we're grabbing that url lead, lead hype scrapes it we download it from lead hype we put it into a spreadsheet google sheets we clean up the spreadsheet a little bit and then the next step that's important is doing another check making sure that these uh, emails that we have here are actually verified so i'm gonna uh, download this and what I'm going to do is I go to Million Verifier, Million Verifier, which is a tool that allows you to um, verify again or verify that these emails, right? All these emails that we have here are actually good to go. So just create an account, go into a Million Verifier and then select the file, select it here and then I'm going to start verifying boom and then we'll verify here so i'm going to pause this video this takes a this takes a moment and then i'm going to show you how to set up a campaign with the verified list okay and then once you're here so this is still taking a while but i'll just show it to you with another example uh, that i uploaded um, you can just go here and download reports and just click good emails only and then it will download it here and then you have it ready right now you scraped it from lead hype you did a check made sure everything's fine and then you verified it and now you're good to go and upload it into instantly so let me just show you how that looks like what are you going to do now with this lead list of your target market so let's switch over to instantly i'm going to go into the campaigns tab uh, i'm going to click here add new 
So here, remember, we were targeting, uh, in our case, the agency's decision makers. So I'm just going to put that into the campaign name. I'm going to click continue. And then first step here, I'm going to click import. I can either use the CSV file or a Google sheet or enter manually. I usually do CSV. Click to upload. And then I'm going to pick the lead list of decision makers here. And then you'll see all the email addresses, first name, last name, and it will automatically attribute that, which is great, right? So you have the lead list here, the decision makers, just upload all. Then we have Pac-Man here processing all the leads, uploading it, boom. And all contacts are uploaded, great. So here you can come up with cold email and cold email sequence, right? Here we have a bunch of templates to help you out in case you don't know exactly what to say. Um, you can just go here to the templates and you can see how many we have. Just grab one of those and, uh, you know, you could put, obviously, you know, don't take them one to one, but just put your own spin on it. Whatever your offer is, we have for SEO agency, recruiting firms, e-com email marketing agencies, conversion rate optimization agency, content marketing, TikTok agency, and so on and so forth. So in that case, you know, just come up with some ideas or you can also come up with some, uh, uh, you know, some of your own copy. So just for sake of example here, I'm going to use this one. Uh, then, hey, first name, LinkedIn profile was impressive, wanted to reach out. We help marketing agencies, right? We said this was the target initially, get five to eight additional meetings per week with potential customers. Right? And that's, um, then you can save it. Uh, then you can even add additional steps. So let's say, you know, you wanted to add more steps. Let's see if we can just add one more step here. Uh, let's see if a follow-up. Um, yeah, so I like this one too, this follow-up here. It's great. Um, and this second step will take the previous email subject line. Uh, one of our other uh, uh, marketing agency clients Okay, obviously, you know, this, this was a true case study for, for us when we created this template, but just, you know, come up with some results that you got for a similar client, or um, you can also do another follow-up, which would be, hey, first name, uh, I understand uh, you're busy. Is there someone else I should be, uh, is there someone else at company name is, I, I should be directing this to? And then if you upload a company name with the lead list, then um, we'll dynamically insert that. Or is there someone else uh, I should be directing this to? You can also say here. And you set the schedule. So let's say, you know, these people are in Eastern time, they are in the US. You can set the Eastern time schedule. If they're in the UK, uh, you can just send it on the a UK schedule, Monday to Friday, and then uh, also options. And then in the options here, this is really cool. You can set the email accounts that should reach out to those prospects. So you can see you can add as many as you want. Obviously, you have to connect these first, but uh, it's it's quite straightforward. You connect them to instantly. And then all these 15 email addresses, it, it will do inbox rotation, and they will, one after the other, they will reach out to the different leads. So this one will reach out to lead number one, and then this one will reach out to lead number two, and this one to lead number three, and so on. Then open tracking, daily sending limit, all of this, don't worry about it. If you're just getting started, it's super simple, 200, and we uploaded like 500 leads there. So with 15 inboxes, you can do like 30 per inbox. In that case, you know, we can send 450 per and really contact a lot of people here and with a good offer. So and then you just click launch, poof, you click launch and that's uh, and and that's it. Then it will start sending and you can get, and then, you know, after a couple of hours, after a day, you will see all the positive replies 
coming in. And boom, that's it. We're about to send out 450 emails to a bunch of qualified prospects. And now we just have to wait and see what comes back. So if you guys want to use instantly.ai for yourself, you can try out the free trial in the description. No credit card is required. Other than that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have liked the video. In the future, we'll be going over these responses and how to follow up with them to actually close them and turn them into customers. See ya.